We've had a number of questions related to the sales tax situation in Missouri for those involved in selling specialty crops, both direct market sales and other sales as well. And in response to those questions, we've invited Jennifer Lutz, who is a community engagement specialist in McDonald County. She's a specialist in agricultural business, and she's agreed to give us an overview of the sales tax situation for Missouri specialty crop farmers. So as Patrick said, we had some questions about which farmers need to collect and remit state and local sales tax. And as I started looking into this question, it really depends on the farm specific details. So Missouri has two state sales tax rates. One is at 4.225% and the other is at 1.225%. And which sales tax you use at the state level depends on what you're selling, where you're selling, and how much you expect to receive annually for the amount of sales that you have. So the 4.225% sales tax is for non-food items and for hot ready to eat food. The only items that are taxed at the 1.225% rate are food and food products for home consumption. So the hot ready to eat food, if you think about drinks that you can drink right away, hot food, if you're selling cold sandwiches that are packaged to take home, then those are the food products for home consumption. So we have our state sales tax rate, but we also have our local sales tax rate. And those rates vary by county, city, and then we also have some special districts that can change those tax rates. So as we look at kind of the decision tree, on to the left of this, you see you have your non-food items and your hot ready to eat food items that are at the state sales tax rate of 4.225% plus your local rate. When we get into the food and the food for home consumption, then that's where it really starts to depend. Do you sell at a farmer's market? Do you not sell at a farmer's market? What are your expected gross annual sales? You could potentially be exempt from collecting and remitting sales tax, but you could be needing to charge that 1.225% sales tax and remitting that. So Missouri actually has a sales tax exemption for farm products sold at farmers markets as long as the farmers expected total annual revenue is less than $25,000 for the year. A couple keys with this, farm products, it is defined in state statute that it is fresh fruit, vegetables, mushrooms, nuts, shell eggs, and you can read the rest. What really catches my eye is the last set of underlinings or any of the products listed in this subsection that have been processed by the participating farmer, including but not limited to bread. So in my mind, this is also like flower arrangements, those types of things that have been processed, bread, baked goods, soaps from like goat milks, those type of things. So those are the farm products. And then we also have state statute that defines farmer's market. And for the purpose of this section, farmer's market is a location that is consistently occupied on a given site throughout the season. It operates as a common marketplace for either an individual farmer or a group of farmers. So a roadside stand does qualify as a farmer's market as long as it's there and operates through the season. This also details where this farmer's market stand has to sell farm products directly to the consumer. And remember farm products were defined just previously and that the products are sold by participating farmers. So we can't take it to a retail store and call that a farmer's market. It has to be sold by the farmers that are participating in that individual stand or an associated farmer's market or a group of producing farmers. And it has to be with the sole intent of generating a portion of household income. So those are a couple weird stipulations that go along with those laws. So as we look back at this decision tree, we have sales that are made at farmer's market stands. Remember those are individual or collective stands. And then we have this next branch down that we have to make less than 25,000 in expected annual gross sales or more than an expected 25,000 in expected annual gross sales. If we make less than that 25,000, then farmers are exempt from collecting sales tax. They do not have to collect and remit sales tax. However, if their expected gross annual sales are greater than 25,000 for the year, then they do need to collect both state and local sales tax and remit that back to the state. We have to have both of these items true. We have to sell farm products as defined by our statute at a farmer's market 
and have sales less than 25,000, that expected sales, and you are exempt from the collection and remittance of sales tax in the state of Missouri. However, regardless of where you sell, if you are expected to have total annual sales of more than $25,000, then you must collect and remit both state and local sales tax. How often do you have to pay sales tax? So again, it depends. And it depends on how much expected revenue you have. If the estimated sales tax collection is less than $100 per quarter, then sales tax is remitted annually. If the sales tax collection is at least $100 per quarter, but less than $500 per month, then it is remitted quarterly. And if estimated tax collection is $500 or more per month, then it is due monthly by the 20th of the month following. So our June sales tax would be due by July 20th to the state. There is an exception for quarter ending months. So say March, our first quarter ending in March, our March returns are actually due the last day of the following month. So they're due in April. And that would be the same for all of our quarter ending months. Does the exemption include state and local, not just state? Yes, the exemption would be state and local. My daughter has a convenience store in the country that will let her have a table in their parking lot on Saturday mornings. She will sell less than $25,000. So no sales tax collected in this situation? Yes, as long as her gross sales from all sales for the farm are less than $25,000. That is not limited to just one stand. That is all of her gross annual sales. And the key to that is that she has to have that stand up throughout the season. So whatever her season is, we aren't defined by season in our statutes at this point.